Here's a demonstration for the Husky round bar and sway control. What you're going to do first is you're going to back up your vehicle enough to let the coupler down and lock the coupler. Once you get it locked, what you're going to do is you're going to raise it up. This is going to raise the truck and the trailer. The higher you get it to go up, the easier it's going to be for you to put the chains on. I need the bar. Make sure when you lift it that you're not lifting the wheels off of the ground. You're going to take your bar that's supplied, slide it over the snap-up bracket, pull your pin here, and let it go down. Okay? To do it in reverse, put your hook on, snap it up, put your pin back through, Still hold on to the bar until the then pin is in. you can remove the bar. Once you have that set, you can lower the trailer back down onto the truck. The reason we lift the truck and trailer together is it takes the tension off of the bars. If you were to try to do that without removing, without lifting the trailer up, what will happen is those bars could come down and it could hurt you, cause physical harm. Right here on your sway control, with this sway control, we never want to back up with it on. To remove it, you're going to loosen this up, just like that there. Pull your pins, and it will come off. So put it on, put it there, there. Put your pins through it. Just like that. We're going to tighten until it starts to get tight. Then we're going to go one and a half turns. Sometimes with a larger trailer as, such as this one, we're going to go one more turn. We always want this bar here pointed horizontal, never vertical. Okay, and again, we want to pull it off before we back up the unit. 